Hey everybody, it is Miss Demetria here. We will be making some metrical snowflakes and all we'll need is paper, any color, any type. Um, you could go so far as using wrapping paper. Um, you could use computer paper, whatever you've got, a pair of scissors and a pencil. We need our paper to be a perfect square and right now I've got computer paper, it is not. It has got longer, horizontal lines than my diagonal lines. So what I'm going to do is turn this rectangle into a perfect square. I'm going to take the top right corner and bring it down. We did this for our optical illusions, remember? We want our paper to match up at the bottom. And once you do that, you get a nice corner, a nice point on one end. You're pushing, pushing. That'll give me two triangles, one and two. This extra stuff, we gotta get rid of. That's not making it a perfect square. So I'm gonna just take my scissors and cut, cut, cut along the line to get rid of this little piece. We got ourselves a perfect square and we're ready to start with our first step, which is making a ton of folds. We've already got the first fold made for us. It's this triangle. So we're going to take the top right and bring it down to the bottom corner. I'm going to use the back of my scissors to push because it helps if we keep our folds nice and straight. Again, we want our corners to be nice and pointy. And we're going to go ahead and make a second fold. From the bottom right, I'm going to fold up to the top. And again, keeping it nice and tight, I'm pushing down. It's important that we, we look at our, our points because we want these snowflakes to be symmetrical. We talked about symmetry before. This heart right here, if I were to fold it in half, it is the same on both sides. It's perfectly symmetrical. Snowflakes that we're gonna be making will be symmetrical. An example of something that's not symmetrical, this cute little bird. If I were to fold it in half, you see its head is, is mostly half of the paper. It's not even on both sides, so it doesn't have the matching mirror image on the other side. We want our snowflakes to be symmetrical, so we have folded perfect triangles. And now I'm going to ask that you put the longest edge down at the bottom, and you got your point, your nice point at the top. Watch me do this first. I'm going to take my right corner and I'm going to fold it down to the left side like that. I'll show you again and you can rewind as many times as you need. Bottom right to the left side. That point goes down and we want a nice point at the top. So I'm going to keep my finger right there to push and keep a nice point at the top. Again, use your your hard edge to push down and now that we've got that first fold we're going to do it on the other side we're going to match it up Oop. ideally your folds left to right now should cover this space if they're not, like mine is not, I'm just going to back it up and maybe make this fold a little straighter. So that way it comes down over here, maybe halfway through. I think that's exactly what we need. And then halfway through again. There we go. Push, push, push. 
what we got is a point at the top. Mine's not perfect. Yours doesn't have to be perfect either. But we got these two little flappy pieces at the bottom, right? We got to get rid of those. We're going to get rid of them with our scissors. If we were to open this up, it'll look very circular because we want it to be symmetrical, right? A circle is symmetrical. If we fold it, it's going to be even on both sides. And again, it didn't need to be perfect, but it did need to be in a cone shape with a point at the top. Now it is time to look at those images of different snowflake shapes and ideas. Um, once you get the hang of this, you can make a ton of them. They're pretty fun and they all come out a little bit different. I'm going to put some triangles on the left side. This is where having a pencil comes in handy. You could draw out the places that you're going to remove. Put some ink down so that you know that's what you're going to cut out. Draw the triangle right there. Another triangle kind of in the middle of them on that side. And then a zigzag line right here. I'm going to remove all that. In general, it looks like a big lightning bolt, right? I wonder what kind of snowflake shape this is going to give us. And then I'm going to remove that with my scissors. Using your dominant hand to cut and your other hand to kind of guide. So you're moving your your paper around, never putting your guiding hand right behind the scissors because that would be dangerous. You're just guiding it. And for those points, it helps me to go like that. These aren't the best scissors, but we make it work, right? And then you got to cut these two triangles. And you might want to try a different design. That's why I'm going to put some options in our Padlet. Um, once you open it, dun, 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 this is the fun part. My oh my. Whoa. It is a pretty cool looking symmetrical snowflake. You might want to put a book on it for a bit to make it nice and flat again because we did push and press real hard. Um, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six sides. It is even all around. It's got some pretty cool radial symmetry going around in a circle. And you can decorate it if you like. I'm asking that you post at least one of these. Um, if you get the hang of it and you love making them, you can make as many as you like. But I need to see one in our Padlet. Let me know if you have any questions. If you like this, you can explore the, the 3D option. I'll, I'll leave a video for that as well. Have fun, y'all. Enjoy. Great job.